Nearly 40% of all CO2 emissions come from construction activities, but only 3% of the total investment in building and designing a new project is efficient and eco-friendly. It shows an alarming trend since it will lead to excess carbon emissions for years to come, resulting in global warming, while the rest of the world is finding solutions to tackle the climate crisis. Sounds too gloomy and dark? Well, there is a way in which architects and engineers can help minimize and maybe reverse the process with sustainable building design, specifically net zero buildings. Net zero buildings have emerged as the most crucial element in the 21st century architecture industry with a major role in mitigating the impact of carbon emissions into the environment. If you want to know more about how architects and engineers can save the planet through net zero buildings, then keep watching this video. We'll be covering what net zero buildings are and why they matter. Simply put, net zero buildings are energy efficient buildings that generate as much energy as they consume. In other words, they produce zero net carbon emissions. Pretty cool, right? So how do net zero buildings achieve this? By using renewable energy sources like solar panels and wind turbines, and by reducing energy consumption through things like efficient insulation and lighting. The great thing about net zero buildings is that they benefit not only the environment, but also the people who live and work in them. A study by the Rocky Mountain Institute found that net zero buildings can reduce energy costs, save owners up to 80% on energy costs over the lifetime of the building, and also provide a healthier indoor environment. The Unisphere building in Maryland, USA is a great example of a net zero building. It is also among the biggest net zero projects in the world. The building has its own on-site solar energy, geothermal heat pumps, and an all-in-one control system for lighting, HVAC, and energy. Another example of an energy positive building is the powerhouse Bratagaya, an eight-story office space in Norway, which uses less energy than it produces during the end of its entire life cycle. The structure contains natural refrigerant heat pumps at its water supply and 3,000 square meters of solar panels for cooling and heating. The structure uses both passive and active energy saving techniques, including HVAC and lighting systems. But why do net zero buildings matter? Well, buildings and the construction industry in general are among the largest sources of greenhouse gas emissions. By constructing net zero buildings, we can significantly reduce our carbon footprint and combat climate change. Plus, net zero buildings are becoming increasingly popular and affordable, making them a viable option for new construction and retrofits of existing buildings. Soon, there will also be carbon negative buildings that will absorb more carbon than they emit over their lifetimes, aiding in the ever increasing need for more eco-friendly energy sources. We will continue to see an upward trend in the adoption of carbon neutral buildings with stakeholders becoming more aware of the destruction that a non-green building can cause in the built environment. With architects and engineers leading the way for a more sustainable living environment, we are hopeful for a greener, better future. So there you have it. Net zero buildings in a nutshell. They're energy efficient buildings that generate as much energy as they consume, using renewable energy sources and reducing energy consumption. Not only do they benefit the environment, but also the people who live and work in them. And most importantly, they can help us combat climate change. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest news and trends in the AAC industry.